What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to set up the most budget-friendly VR setup to your PC that may not be the high spec PC out there. So just to give you a heads up, you're gonna definitely need a, a, at least an i3 processor. You're gonna need Windows 10. You're gonna need eight gigs RAM, preferably 16 gigs RAM, but eight gigs RAM will get you by. Hard drive, 7200 RPM preferably SSD, 3.0 USB ports, and a GTX 960 graphics card or GTX 1050 graphics card, preferably a GTX 1050 Ti. And the software needed Pi Tool to download VR games. I highly suggest downloading Steam and then Steam VR, which are both free. I'll leave links in the video description below of the software and the hardware. The Nolo VR set comes with two motion controllers, the base, the head tracker, and cables. It's compatible with these headsets, as you see here, and the Pimax VR 4K headset. In this video, I'm gonna be including the Nolo motion controller setup. This could be used for PlayStation VR, mobile VR, like the Samsung Oculus, and of course, Pimax. What's included in here is what you see. Right here, we got some OTG cables that connect for mobile VR. And this is gonna be type C or micro USB, depends on your phone. Here's the motion controller. It comes with wrist straps. The motion controllers are a little bit smaller than the PlayStation Move controllers. And they're similar to the PlayStation Move controllers. As you can see, there's the trigger. And if you wanna grab something in the VR world, you press this side button right here. You squeeze the controller basically. You got the menu button. You can press it twice if you want to do a 180 turnaround in VR. And if you want to calibrate these controllers and they start drifting off for some reason, you just tap the power button twice. One, two. And oh, if you tap it once, it turns it on. In the VR world, you can press this button or this button right here. You just basically squeeze the controller. And the sensors, of course, are right here. And it uses a micro USB to charge the controllers. And they last, the battery life, I would say, is around six hours. To pair the controller is not this button, but this button right here is to pair it. The Get Starting card is pretty vague. It's not in any kind of detail. It comes with three mounting clips for your VR headset, another motion controller, and the Nolo base. And to turn that on, you just tap it. And the battery life on this is about three to four hours. And it vibrates. And I asked tech support, is it normal to vibrate? And they said yes. It, it helps with the range on the, um, the VR range for positioning. That is the lasers in there and there, which detect the motion controllers. And the range is actually 100 degrees, according to them. And there's a rubber bottom right here. And this is all wireless, so you don't have to worry about cables all over the place. And the pairing button is right here. And it also takes a micro USB to charge this base. And to turn it off, you just press and hold this button for three seconds. One, two, three. And it also comes with this power adapter that has this cable that splits into three cables, which charges the motion controllers and the base all at the same time. Very convenient. First thing you do is fully charge the controllers and the base. The most important part is the head tracking ball. I made a video how to set up the Pimax 4K VR headset. One of the downfalls on that headset is that there's no head tracking positioning. So in the video game Batman VR, I couldn't lean forward to talk to the Joker or to listen to the Joker for, to proceed forward in the game. With this head tracking ball, now you have head tracking positioning in the VR world. This is not rechargeable. This actually gets connected using the micro USB cable and that connects directly to your PC. And you pair it pressing this button right here. Now this is my Pimax VR headset right here. This is a pretty good headset. The resolution is excellent. Uh, the only downfall is there's no head tracking positioning, which this will solve. There's the volume controls right here and the power on and off. Tap it to turn it on and hold the button to turn it off. I use this setup right here, the L bracket. 
And the reason why is because I didn't want to cover the LED that's in the back right here. See that red LED that you see under the clip? So that's why I chose that mounting clip. So it mounts on here instead of flat across on top of there. So I don't hide that LED. Now you just simply slide this on and you hear it click. And then to remove it, you just press this button and slide it off. For any reason it's blurry, you can clean it off using a microfiber cloth or a 100% cotton shirt like I did right here. But if it's still blurry, make sure you take off the plastic. The Pi Max VR headset is hardwired and then that connects to your PC. Also the headphones connect right here. So you don't have any wires going to your PC for audio. And then you want to connect the Nolo micro USB cable right here. And then I added this clip right here so there's no stress on the port. So I just push that on. I highly suggest getting some twist ties and tying up the wires just like so. Now I highly suggest getting some extension cables. If you accidentally move too far back from your PC, it's not gonna rip out of the USB port or the HDMI port on your expensive graphics card. So the cables will just simply unplug from the extension cable and not damage your computer. Now from the head tracking ball, you wanna use the Nolo cable that has this adapter. And this cable with the split end is the Pimax VR headset. And you plug this into a SS USB port. And of course this plugs into your graphics card. The Pimax into the HDMI extension cable right here. And that plugs into my GTX card. And I'm gonna plug in the Pimax VR headset to the SS USB port. And Nolo head tracker into the extension cable. Now, if you want to pair the base station to the controllers and the head tracker, simply tap to turn on, and the light will turn red. Then to pair it, press and hold the pairing button, and then this light will flash green. And then with the motion controllers, tap to turn on, tap the other one to turn on, now the motion controllers and the head tracker should be already paired. If these lights right here are green, once you turn on the base station, then you could proceed forward. If they're not green and they're red, like you see right here, then you have to pair the motion controllers and the head tracker. You're gonna have to press and hold the pairing button right here and do this one at a time. Press and hold. It'll vibrate once and that's it. And Place it in front of the base station and then do the same right here, press and hold. And then with the head tracker, do the same, press and hold. Press the pairing button once and that is it. So as you can see, all three lights are green and paired. You want to download Pi Tool. This used to be called Pi Play. Once you download Pi Tool, you also want to download Steam VR. First, you have to download Steam to download Steam VR within Steam. So I'm downloading PyTool and Steam. After you download PyTool, select Room Setup and start Room Setup. And as you can see, the headset controllers are ready and recognized in the software. Hit click on Calibrate. Once you have the controller and headset in front of the base station, make sure the base station is turned on. Then Hit next. If your headset is on the ground, you select zero centimeters, or if it's higher up, you measure and select that height. Mine is 121 centimeters, which is around four feet. Then hit settings and click on check version and upgrade if there is an update. The update is going to give you the best user experience. And then hit install, it's going to reinstall the software. So once you open up Steam VR, it's gonna let you know if all your controllers in your headset is ready. And looks like everything is ready. But before you get started, to set up, they click on the down arrow, and then run room setup. 
I'm going to choose standing because I really have no room. So here's the base station and I'm going to hold the headset right here and the controllers are facing the base station. Hit next and we're going to calibrate. Hit next and I'm going to put 121 in that centimeters. Calibrate the floor. And now we can hit next and then we're done. Dead secret, everything is working the way it should. And I can look left, look up, see the ceiling, look right, behind me. And now I have head positioning, which means I can actually do this, which I couldn't do before. See? So I can actually look under things, which is kind of cool. And this is my little uh, pointer, so I can basically explore and search right here and press up on the touchpad explore so guys if this video helped you set up your nolo and pimax vr headset to your computer give me a big thumbs up i also leave links in the video description below for the software also where to get the pimax vr headset and the nolo motion controllers also, if you know anyone that has a PC that's interested in VR, click on the share button below and share this video to them. And if you want more tutorials like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my other tutorials, click on this playlist link right here. See you later.